Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new image gallery module that I'm going to be releasing soon. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who have seen the data object manager module, it's a lot like that. Um, and what I've done is just extended that to include some image manipulation functionality. So um, let's just quickly recap what the data object manager is and what it does. It's just an extension to the complex table field uh, designed to manage data objects. And that's what it looks like. It has drag and drop ordering, and pagination, um, a live search feature. Um, we can also extend that to include files. And that's what this looks like with a bulk uploader um, feature and uh, a filter field. Um, so the image gallery uh, is going to look a lot like that. We'll talk about installation first. Um, You'll see that I have uh, in my root solar stripe folder I have data object manager installed, I have the image gallery installed, and also Swift upload. There are three components to the installation. So um, after I run my database build, I can go into Silver Stripe and create an image gallery page. And we have some configuration options we can set first. The album, co album cover images can take a width and height for the dimensions. Um, and that just happens on the main gallery page. Every album has a small image associated with it. Thumbnail size in the gallery, the normal size, which is the size in the pop-up window, number of images per page, and of course the um, choice of the UI that you want to use. I have seven different jQuery-based Lightbox or Lightbox clones in there. Um, if we go to create an album, you'll see that uh, we can't do anything until we first save the gallery, and I'll explain why. Once we save this, what it's going to do is go into our assets and create, first of all, the new uh, image gallery folder in assets, and then it creates um, also the my gallery. Um, folder and the album is a subset of that. Now um, every gallery has to have an album. All, all photos need to be uploaded to an album. You can't upload photos just to a gallery. Uh, so by default you just get the default album. If you only have one album though, uh, the gallery is aware of that and will skip over the whole album um, part of the interface and just let you see your images right away. But we're going to be a little bit more customized, so I'm going to alter this and change it to um, we have uh, pictures of places. And we get to assign a cover image to it. That one looks good. And we'll also do people. Now you'll notice one enhancement to the data object manager is that it now redirects you back to um, the form if you have an image associated with it, so you can add that right away rather than having to go find it again. That's fine for a picture of a person. Okay, now let's add our images. Uh, first, we'll just look at the file system really quickly and see that we now have those two uh, albums are now in the file system. It's always in sync. We'll go to Photos, and we do need to refresh the page to get those new albums to appear in the drop-down menu. Haven't figured out a way around that yet. We can upload images from our computer using the bulk uploader, or we can choose to import them from a folder. Let's add them to the places. 
I think I'll... I don't have any files uploaded. Just those two. So I'll pick out my places here. One thing that we can do um, is if we, you might have noticed we have rotation icons here. If for some reason you have a, a portrait picture that comes in landscape or vice versa, um, we can apply the rotate feature. And, and it's a fairly slow uh, memory consuming process unless you're running Ubuntu which has a really nice image rotate feature. Those are our images. There's a nice UI feature that's been added to the image uh, data object manager, which is the slider. If you're um, maybe if you have a lot of images on your page, you might want to shrink them down. Or if you want to get a better view, you can just blow them up. Of course, we can drag and drop. And let's look at it on the front end. So there's our album uh, view on the main gallery page, and we can click in. You can also drag and drop albums if you want to rearrange those. And that's it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the image gallery.